guys, my name is James from gigapress.net. Today we'll be troubleshooting WordPress's a plugin could not be activated because it triggered a fatal error via the WordPress dashboard and file transfer protocol, FTP. To start, verify that your site is running the latest WordPress version. Sometimes, running an outdated version of WordPress can cause compatibility issues with plugins. This is because core software updates typically come with bug fixes, security patches, and new features. To get the latest version of WordPress, go to the Dashboard tab, then proceed to the Update section. Here, you will find the current version that you are currently using. You can set up the automatic updates for WordPress, or you can update it manually. Just click on the Update button on your screen. If the error persists, let's take it a step further by deactivating your plugins via the Plugin Manager. If the fatal error message blocks access to your WordPress dashboard, then you'll need to deactivate all your plugins. To do this, you'll need a file transfer protocol, FTP client, like FileZilla. If you aren't familiar with FileZilla and connecting to WordPress via FTP, check out our tutorial video in the description below to get connected. Once you connect to your website using FTP, then Navigate to the Root folder and head to WP-Content and select Plugins. Rename the folder to Plugins underscore Deactivate to deactivate all the plugins on your site. Once done, log back into your WordPress dashboard. Then go to the Plugins section and select Installed Plugins. Reactivate the plugins one at a time to find which tool caused the error message. If you know which plugin is causing problems, you can try reactivating it to see if the error message reappears. If it does, you may want to contact the developers for assistance or choose a different tool. Before we go to the next troubleshooting step, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel to find more WordPress tutorials and reviews. Now, if the error is still happening, we'll need to increase your website's PHP memory limit. PHP is a scripting language that forms the foundation of WordPress, Essentially, WordPress uses PHP to run all the processes on your site, including fetching data from the database, processing uploads, and activating plugins. However, your site has a PHP memory limit, so it actually restricts how much memory a particular PHP script can use. Therefore, if activating a plugin exceeds this limit, your site could time out and display the same error message. The solution? Increase your site's PHP memory limit. To do this, you need to connect to your site via FTP. Then, open the wp-config.php file. Then, add this line of code before this line. Define wp underscore memory underscore limit, comma, xm. Make sure to substitute x for the amount of PHP memory you'd like. For example, I'm going to enter 128. Save the file and re-upload it to your site. Lastly, the last method I'm going to show you is install the plugin manually. First, you'll need to install WPCLI on your computer. Then you'll have to find your plugin's name so you can use it in the command. Open the tool in the WordPress plugin repository and look for the folder name in the URL, plugin folder name. Now, use that name in the following command in WPCLI instead of example-plugin. WP plugin install example-plugin. This will install the plugin. Then, use the following command to activate it. WP plugin activate example-plugin. Now, log back into your WordPress dashboard. Once done, the plugin should now be up and running. Remember, for more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.